Welcome once again to people learning online class. And my name is Teacher Emmanuel, a teacher of mathematics. Today we are going to learn mathematics where we are going to talk about the number of poles, the number of poles, and even the number of trees. Number of poles, of poles, and number or oh, number of trees. And remember that this is the content of primary five students. And that's why uh, I come to give you different strategies or new techniques of answering different questions relating to, to find, in finding the number of holes or number of trees. So before talking about those questions, before talking about those questions, we have a different example here. Before talking about those questions, all those examples, we are going to talk about different formulas. We are going to talk about different formulas that I use. For example, we have an open line here. So an open line, maybe it can be a distance of a road. From, for example, a road A to road B. And from A to B, for example, if this is a road, and on that road there is different poles. How can you find the number of poles? Oh, if this road or this road there are some green trees which are which are there, how can we count the number of trees? And here, for example, if on this road we have the trees, this is a tree, this is a tree, and this is a tree. How many trees we have here? One, two, three. So we have the three trees. Three trees. Oh, they can either be poles. For example, we have here from a road C to road B. Uh, we have different poles. This is a pole. This is also a pole. This is also another pole. This is also another pole. This is one, two, three, and four. So the number of poles of poles is equal to four poles. And here we have three trees. And how do we find the number of trees or how do we find the number of poles on an open line? So the number of poles, poles on an open line is equal to the number of interval plus one. Here we have the number of interval. The number of interval here is equal one, two. It is equal to two. If we are finding the number of objects, we will take a two plus one and we find that is equal to three. And when we count those trees, one, this is three one, three two, and number three. So therefore, they match. And we go to this one. We have how many poles? One, two, three, four poles. And here, how do we find these poles? The number of poles is equal to the number of interval plus one. And here, this is one number of interval, two, three. We have one, two, three. The number of interval is equal to three plus one, which is equal to four. And if we count those poles here, you may find that they are four in numbers. One, two, three, four. And therefore, that's why we say that the number of poles is equal to the number of interval plus one. And this is the formula. And remember that, eh, how we find the number of interval? The number of interval is equal to distance. Distance, or this distance is otherwise called perimeter, perimeter over length of interval. When you talk of the length of the interval, is the distance between the two trees. The distance between the tree one and the two, the, this distance between this tree and this tree, it is what we call range of interval. And also the distance between the three, the third, second trees and the third tree is called the range of interval. So that is how we find the, the number of interval. So therefore, if they ask you to calculate or to find the number of poles on an open line, you will first 
say that eh, since the number of objects is equal to the number of interval plus one, you are also looking for the number of interval. And the, the number of interval is equal to distance or perimeter over length of interval. Let's go to a closed line. How do we find uh, the number of trees, the number of poles on a closed line? Here, if, for example, a closed line can be a circle, a closed line can be a rectangle, depending on the shape of a geometrical figure given on a certain field or garden. For example, we have trees here. This is a tree, this is also a tree, this is also a tree, and this is also a tree. How do we find the number of, poles, of trees? The number of trees the number of trees on this cross the line is equal to the number of intervals. So here we are going to prove this is a tree number one, tree number two, number three, number four. And we are going to see the number of intervals. This is the one from the number of intervals, one, two, three, and four. And four. That's why we say that on a closed line, the number of interval is equal to the number of object or the number of trees the number of trees is equal to the number of interval so that's what we mean here and also here suppose that this is the rectangular garden and it is faced with trees those are trees that are faced on this rectangular on this rectangular garden so we have how many number of trees this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If the number of number of trees is equal to eight, we are going to see the number of interval. So the number of interval is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see that eh? the number of trees is equal to the number of interval. It is also equal to eight. And that's why we say the number of objects or the number of trees is equal to the number of interval. And remember that number of interval is equal to distance over, over length of interval. So therefore, if you know the, those formula and you are able to separate them on an open line and on a closed line, you will be able to pass every question relating to finding the number of objects or the number of balls. Let's come to our example. Let's come to our example. A rectangular garden, a rectangular garden is fenced with trees whose length is 8 meters and width of uh, and 5 meters of width. And the length of the interval is 2 meters. How many trees were used to face such a garden. And here we are going to start by giving. This is given, this is asked, and this is solution or formula. Formula plus solution. Plus solution. So the reason why we draw this small table, it is because this small table is going to help us to do this question well without without even making a mistake so what is given here they give us length which is equal to eight meter and they give us width which is equal to five meter and they give us also length of interval the length of interval which is equal to two meter and the, the question is asking to find the how many trees this is the number of objects, and this is the number of objects, or the number of trees, number of trees. And let me go to, film, to formula so that you can see how to handle this question. So using the formula, the number, before talking about the formula, we are going to see whether our line is closed or it is open. So that we can know the, which formula are we going to apply. Are we going to apply those formula of open line or those formula of closed line? So if we find that a question is, this question 
is a rectangular garden. Immediately, it is a frozen line. It is a frozen line. And we have said that on a frozen line, number of objects is equal to the number of interval. And remember that we have said that the number of interval is equal to distance over length of interval. And remember that they don't give us, they didn't give us a distance. And remember that a distance is equal to perimeter. And you know how to calculate the to find the perimeter of the rectangle. On the per, on the rectangle, perimeter is equal to length plus width is times two times two. And therefore, it is equal to length, which is eight meter, width, which is equal uh, to five meter times two. If we take eight plus five is equal to thirteen. Thirteen times two is equal to twenty-six. Therefore, perimeter is equal to twenty-six meter, which is a distance. Distance is equal to twenty-six. Meter. And now we are going to find the number of interval. That says here on the formula there is a number of interval is equal to distance divided by length of interval. And we have seen that distance is equal to 26 meters. And the length of interval here in the question they give us 2, two meters. And therefore we are going to simplify one another. 26 divided by 2 is equal to 13. And here Meter is going to simplify another meter. And therefore, we stay with 13 trees. 13 trees. So therefore, number, number of trees of trees that were used to face such a garden is equal to 13. I think this question is very easy and clear to understand. But referring to what we have covered previously. We have talked about open line and even a closed line. So and now we are going to talk about we are going to talk about the second example or second question. We go to second, second question. The question number two. The distance of a road that starts from point A to point B is 20 kilometers. And the distance between each two poles, the distance between each two poles is equal to four kilometers. How many poles are there on that road? So meaning that we have a road that starts from point A to point to point B. And this road, on this road there are some poles. There are some po poles. There are some poles. And they have said that the distance between the two poles is equal to four kilometers. But the distance from that, the distance of that road starting from point A to point B is equal to 20 kilometers. And they are asking us to find how many three, how many poles, how many poles, how many poles that are there. And here, we are going to see the number of poles or the number, the number of poles that are on that road. So we first follow our table, uh, given by starting to given what is given, what is asking, and formula, formula plus plus solution, formula plus solution, formula plus solution. What is given here? They give us the distance which is equal to 20 kilometers. And even they give us the length of interval which is equal to 4, to 4 kilometers. What is asking? They are asking us to find the number of number of poles. The number of poles. What is going to equal to the number of poles? And here we reach on the formula. So number of poles, but before lighting the formula, we first rule is that road closed or open. So this is an open line. Since it is an open line, the number of poles, the number of poles is equal to the number of interval plus one. As you have seen it previously when we were starting this lesson. And the number of poles 
It says the number of calls is equal to the number of interval plus one. And now we are going to look at the number of interval. And how do we find the number of interval? We have said that the, the number of interval is equal to distance over length of interval. So, and we are going to see, is there, is there this is given? It is given. So therefore, the number of interval is equal to 20 kilometer over or divided 20 kilometer divided by 4 kilometer. And we simplify kilometer by kilometer so that we can save the number of poles. So the number of interval is equal to, if we take a 20 divided by 4, we get 5. 5, 5 as the number of interval. So then we find the number of, of poles. And this formula show clearly how to find the number of poles. The number of poles is equal to the number of interval plus one. And therefore, we would say, since the number of interval is equal five, we are going to add one, and then we get six. So therefore, the number of poles, number of poles, of poles on that road that starts from point A to point B is equal to six. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, to write, and give comments so that we can keep on improving our teaching and learning practice. Have a nice time.